Kelly Hartung interviewed Nick McDonald, who's just published his third book, and we caught up with him on a recent visit to Washington for Unplugged Under 40. It's Tell me about these today. shoes. Hey, what kind of ground have you traveled in these? Oh, uh, well, today I just walked around the mall, but they've been where I've been. And that means these boots have carried Nick McDonald around the world. He's a freelance journalist who's walked the violent streets of Iraq and the dusty roads of Sudan. Today, he's busy with meetings on Capitol Hill, researching a story on the International Criminal Court. He says he hopes to sell. A carefree attitude this 25-year-old writer can afford, since he's just published his third novel, An Expensive Education. The book is a combination of campus novel and spy novel. And so, at its best, it is sort of like Graham Greene goes to the frat house. But he also has to go to Somalia and Kenya and deal with all of the the real trouble that happens there. But it's, it's a conspiracy theory book. And it Nick made headlines at age 18 with his debut novel, 12. The international bestseller is expected in movie theaters next year. He wrote a second book in between classes at Harvard, though it garnered less praise than the first. Nick writes about what he knows, whether it's growing up on New York's Upper East Side or his reporting adventures abroad. Then he pushes the limits. All three books are told from the perspective of young men coming to a new understanding about the world they live in. The first one is a drug dealer, the second one is a journalist, and the third one is a spy. Now, if I told you actually how many Somali warlords I had to kill with my bare hands, the joke would be on me. But there are consistent similarities, and I identify with these characters and the book is drawn from experiences that I have had, usually details. Nick has experienced more than most his age. The son of a high-profile magazine editor and a novelist, he has never had trouble getting his foot in the door. But Nick knows connections only get you so far. How much of your success um, do you think is a product of circumstance? Well, I know that I work hard for the things that I do, and I really go to the places that I report on. So I think that it is a combination of being in the right place at the right time and working hard. Not long after graduation, Nick ventured to Sudan to research his third book. He found a story along the way and sold it to Harper's Magazine. He says this work as a reporter has improved no the fiction he's written. And, and so in hotel really rooms and on the road in East Africa, he wrote an expensive education. I am an inexperienced reporter and I'm still learning. So I would arrive in a place and I would have to meet somebody, say there was a Rwandan MP, and he didn't show up for a month and his lieutenants wouldn't talk to me, and so I was sort of just nosing around. But a lot of the day, there would be nothing to do, one or two interviews a day. So for the rest of the day, I would sit there and I would try to write the kind of book that I wanted to read. And that's really what drives you here. You, you're writing the type of book that, that you would want to read. This time, yeah. certainly. Yeah, it wasn't that way in the past? The first time around, it was the kind of book that I wanted to kill characters in. And at the time, I was extremely self-righteously angry the way that only a 17-year-old can be, I think. So you would say that your, you know, your mission with each book has, has been different. It's, it hasn't been one and the same, right? Yeah. I think that at, at base there's like a real, there's a real clear way that I look at the world and about the way people ideally should behave, which is about loyalty and fairness that I think are such obvious cliches but are important to the book also. But more interesting than that is the way that this reports on policy and the mistakes that people can make in fancy offices like the Capitol. Now Nick says that he plans to keep writing both fact and fiction. He says he doesn't have another novel in the works just yet, but he did hint that an expensive education might be headed to the movie theaters too. Awesome. Now what about someone at age 17? I mean a lot of people want to write a book, but how does someone when they're 17 years old actually get published? You know, Nick doesn't deny that he's a well-connected young man. His, as I mentioned in the piece, his father is an um, influential magazine editor and his mother's a novelist. So he was able to get his foot in the door um, by rather uh, unusual means. But as he said, you know, he works hard for what he for what he does, and I think his work speaks for itself. Sounds like he definitely has some great stories to tell. Yeah. Thanks so much. Good job.